Greetings and welcome to Great Books in Philosophy, uh, the summer 2, 2016 semester. Uh, my name is Dr. Schaefer. Um, I'm the instructor for this course and uh, I've created this video to introduce myself and to tell you a little bit about the class. Uh, what I'd like to do in the video is, is basically three things. Uh, I would like to uh, tell you a little bit about myself, uh, first of all, and then I'd like to talk a little bit about this course. Um, what's involved in the course and then third and finally I'd like to talk about the online nature of the course and uh, how the online how this course is going to work as an online course so first of all a little bit about myself uh, as you can see I'm wearing my Xavier ball cap uh, I am a, a full-time faculty member uh, uh, in, in the philosophy department I'm actually the department head of Xavier's philosophy department I have been at Xavier for quite a while now actually uh, I started, I guess it was 16 years ago um, in the summer of 1999. So I was here before Katrina, during Katrina, or through Katrina, and then afterwards. Uh, and uh, I guess that's enough about myself uh, professionally. Um, personally, I would like to communicate with you uh, something uh, uh, that very special about what's going on in my life right now. Uh, this may come up during the course anyway, so I might as well um, tell you about it now. And that is that my wife and I uh, are proud parents of twin babies that were born at the tail end of the spring semester, uh, April 25th. Uh, I taught the summer one um, version of this course, and actually the babies were still in the hospital at that point. They were premature. They came out early. Um, they are home now and uh, we are absolutely delighted uh, by it. We've got a healthy baby boy, Alexander, and a healthy baby girl, Abigail. Uh, if you hear any screaming in the background while I'm doing this video, uh, that, that's what that's all about. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the class. Uh, Great Books in Philosophy is uh, an introduction to philosophy class. Uh, the, you will be introduced to the discipline of philosophy by reading uh, a handful, I guess almost two handfuls, of uh, classic philosophical texts. Um, the word book is a little misleading um, because most of the selections we'll be taking a look at this semester are very short. Um, we will look at them in, in their entirety, most of them, um, but they're pretty short. Uh, I think it's a reasonable amount of reading. Uh, so, by the end of the course, you will understand uh, a little bit more about the discipline of philosophy, what, what philosophers uh, are interested in, in other words, what the content of philosophy is, um, which is basically ideas about things that are um, very difficult to figure out, um, ideas about the nature of justice and beauty and truth, uh, the, these sorts of things, really the big issues of life. Uh, it's one of the reasons why uh, I, I enjoy philosophy so much because it gives us the opportunity to, to think carefully about these, these big issues that are, that are relevant and interesting for all of us. You'll also uh, understand a little bit about the methodologies of philosophy, how, how philosophers use reason and logic um, to get at these issues. And I hope by the end of the semester, you also will begin or will have begun the process of putting together your own philosophical worldview, um, perhaps by um, grappling with the various philosophers and the ideas of those philosophers from this course, some of which you'll agree with and some of which you will disagree with, you'll be able to start coming up with your own ideas about things. Okay, uh, let me talk about the online nature of this course. Here's basically how the course is going to work. Um, so think of the course as being organized around um, the books that we're reading. Each book is its own unit of the course. So for each unit, we will start out by you reading the text. Um, that'll be the first step. The second step will be that you will listen to an audio lecture that I will put together and um, post on Blackboard. The audio lectures are intended to provide context, background, to lay out some of the main ideas so that you can begin thinking more effectively about the book. Uh, 
Third, you will participate in an online discussion board um, where you will post comments um, um, on topics that are uh, related to the books that we're reading. You'll be able to engage with your classmates ab about those topics, um, and that will all be set up in Blackboard. And then fourth, I think this is fourth, I lost track of the number, uh, you will write a blog entry uh, for each one of the texts. And in at least one case, you'll write more than one blog for, um, for, for the text. The, the purpose of the blog is to give you an opportunity to do some more formal writing uh, about some of the most important ideas from the books. Um, so that's it. You'll read the book, listen to an audio lecture provided by me. There's an online discussion board where you can interact with me, um, with your classmates. You'll write a blog post. Uh, and then the last main assignment for the course is you will write a critical essay um, that you'll submit through Turnitin. Um, and you know that would that's that's something that we would do if this was uh, an on-campus course. So there, there's really no difference about that. Um, uh, probably what's a little bit different about the course is that there are no quizzes for this course and there are no tests for this course. Okay, the the critical essay will be due at the very end of the semester um, on the day of the final exam, and that will serve as being like the final exam. Um, and the blog posts really will will serve. Uh, kind of like quizzes for the course and take um, take the place of that. So uh, look, I want to wish you uh, well for this course. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn a lot. Um, I look forward to interacting with you uh, in cyberspace. Thank you.